on the fourth down play from the six yard line on the game winning touchdown. What was the call and what happened on that play? Um, it was a, it was a fade ball. Uh, we came to me earlier in that series and uh, the quarter made a good play on the ball and I didn't come down with it. So uh, I think I think Jaron, I think our old line, I think I think Coach Arod for and I think the whole team for trusting in me and giving me the opportunity to make that play. But man, that was, that was sweet, Jaron Hall, man, my guy. <laughs> When that play goes to review, knowing what had happened right before halftime, what's going through your mind emotionally right there? That one, I was I was pretty confident. I thought I got in before the one at the before halftime too, but I knew that one for sure. I was I was ready for that one. There was no chance I was leaving that one up to fate. Fourth and goal, game on the line. That's that's the opportunities we live for. That's the things I've been I've been dreaming since I was a little kid. I can't wait to call my family and <laughs> share with them that love. And then being in the locker room with those guys. I mean, we've been in the grind. We've been going through it for us to come to our rivalry game, play here on the blue turf, go through a dogfight, seven seven at halftime, and come out. We score in the fourth quarter, and our defense. Um, they've been going through the grind. But when it came down to it, they got the stop, and we, we come out victorious in Boise. What does a win over Boise in this rivalry series to close things out mean for you on top of snapping a four-game losing streak? Yeah, that's something that Coach Kalania preached. These are our rivalry games. We played Utah last year. That was the last time we have them scheduled. We played Utah State this year. We got we so all the all our rivalry games we've been able to knock down, and we never know when the last the next time is going to play them. So you got to leave it all out there. And uh, we finished the last one right, and we still got a couple more games. But man, it's a it's a nice momentum to finish off the to run into these last two games. We got a, we got one we got a bye week, and then we're coming back home. So it'd be nice. Everybody heal up as much as you can, and then we're playing Utah Tech and Lavelle Edward. You just came out of the locker room. What was the scene like in there? <laughs> a lot of dancing. I don't know if you guys ever seen Clark Barrington hit some dance moves before, but, man, that was sweet. I'm blessed to see that. <laughs> 320 pounds of, of, of human man moving like that. That's, that's a beautiful sight right there. <laughs> okay, let's rewind to the last couple of offensive series. Back and forth game. You're up, you're down. You're up, you're down. What's the key to maintaining composure and not folding like – this team has uh, in, in a few of the games during the losing streak. Um, I think confidence. I, I don't know if they're uh, – it was some, not necessarily anything during the week, but the guys, we made plays to see um, Hinkley come out there and make a big-time play when we needed it, cut, score a 40-yard touchdown on a screen play. Um, Peeney, our run game has been consistent. It's nice. Jaron Hall, whenever the ball's in his hand, everybody knows we're confident. And we, we trusted him. And – Everybody out there, uh, Isaac, we, <laughs> he came up to me after there and said, thanks for saving me. But it's every play. Not one play is going to make us lose the game. And it was every guy out there, all 11 men, putting out all the effort they can and leaving it out there in the field. And this is, this is the, end, the end goal when everybody leaves it out there. We come out victorious. So it's nice for the boys in Brigham. They're trying to turn the lights out on you here. But I know <laughs> you are the shining light tonight, Puka. Uh, how are you feeling, by the way? Because it felt like you were targeted 20-plus times. Um, possibly. I got some blood out here, but that's how football works. I, I love this game. I'll do anything for those guys in that locker room, whether they want me to block the mic backer, block the DN, or run 50 yards and catch the ball, run the ball, whatever it needs. Um, I'm willing to sacrifice for those guys, and I know they're willing to sacrifice for me. So I'm grateful to be in this position, and I feel good. Winning football games is real fun. <laughs> You're a win away from getting bowl eligible and trying to re right the back end of this season uh what has to happen over the next couple of games for BYU to continue this trend and and keep going in the right direction consistency I think uh obviously we had our short our short yardage uh, issues in the first half but we, we finished them in the second half and obviously we come down a fourth fourth and goal and with the game on the line and uh coach trusted us to make plays and that's that's my job as a receiver to go out there and make a play and they put the ball up in the air so that's what we do just just consistency across the board I mean the second half I thought we moved the ball a lot better we, I didn't think they they were really good defense they we, we knew that they were a, a really good pass defense but I felt like we passed the ball well we're confident in ourselves when we play confident I believe we're one of the best teams out there and I think that showed tonight everybody felt that little bit of swagger I know we, we were going through a little bit of a slump but you make one play and that's how sometimes that's all you need you're an eight-and-a-half-point underdog coming into this game and had only won one game on the blue as a, a program before tonight. Is is there an added dynamic to this win? If so, what is it? Um, not as, uh, it was the game that we had on Saturday. We got we got some messages from Tyler, um, from Zach, from uh, some of the guys, Neil, uh, some of the former players, and it was a nice message because they still believe in us. I know it's been uh, Cougar Nation. We've been going through the grind, but it was nice to hear some of the messages from the former players and guys who kind of been through. Obviously, you know, you don't not everybody's been through a four-game losing streak, but they believed in us, and 
uh, every every man in that locker room, we believe in each other. So it was fun to for everybody to have that belief and for us to come out with the victory. Okay, last one for you. I know you talk about the eye in the sky when you go back to film review, and you talk about your brothers a lot. <laughs> your brothers are really hard on you, and you like this. What's the conversation going to be like with your brothers after tonight's game? Oh man, um, early in the game, I got a lot. I got touches on the outside. I had a solo bark. I had an orbit on their boundary, where. Mason and Isaac pick up two for two and I'm left one on one and I didn't make the guy miss He had a good form tackle on me and then we came back to me to the field in a, in a sweep a jet sweep Isaac Kibo and Mason out there and once again one on one and they're leaving me They're leaving me to make the guy miss and I didn't do it So that I was thinking out that was thinking through my mind the whole time I, I, I owe I owe my brothers I know they were the, that's the ones they're gonna talk to me about but I owe, also owe my teammates that when they give me the ball and those guys are out there I know they're fighting their their butts off. I was about to swear. <laughs> They're fighting their butts off, but um, I got a lot of plays I can get better on for sure. <laughs> hey. yeah, you won the game, whatever. Let's talk about you not making guys miss, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I know that's that's Samson's first text for sure. And Kai's gonna be like, "Hey, on that front, uh, on the, the the field run to the back, he had the mic back on the block. I hit him, and we we stalemated, and then he got outside of me, and he made the play. So I know he's gonna kill me for that. Like." Yeah, the blocking plays, I did not block well. Coach Fest is going to be mad. A-Rod, Coach Funk, I'm sorry. I, sometimes, number zero, he's a big guy. <laughs> 52, 58, all those Mike backers, they didn't want to stay in the box. They were trying to come get me. <laughs> Puka, great stuff. We appreciate the insight. Congratulations and enjoy a well-deserved bye week finally. Right, I know, exactly. I'm, I'm asleep in. Go to Marley's Barbecue. Marley's Harley Davidson on 1800. You see me there at breakfast. <laughs> Thanks, Puka. Of course. Marley's Barbecue. A hug from Puka Nakua. And